Hey guys, this will be a review of Mowon Saye by RQM, one of the Challenge 2 Team Liquid Map Contest finalists with the fancy slowing zones. Uh, this map in particular received like some feedback in the tournament, given that it was probably overly big, or, or at least so, that's how the players felt. It is not that far, but still like in the long part of things, in the long like distances. Uh, especially also because of the slowing zones, that even when the, there is like a central pathway that doesn't have them, they still like make maps feel overall bigger uh, because of the slowing area and just enlarges distances to a degree. Uh, by itself, it is like very solid. Uh, there is like some areas I don't particularly. It is very solid, but I don't consider it to be like all too interesting by itself. Uh, there is this area like in front with the two ramps. Oops, some forgotten probes from testing. Uh, there is the, the the two ramps which I particularly am not too fond of. All of this area is like not quite interesting. The, color palette is like at least in my case I consider it to be incredible and also the uh, RQM's usage of water waves and like do that alongside with the with the, with the water is looks amazing but the center of this part of this map in particular isn't like all to cry about like this central high ground feels like the Dutch alongside with the two the two ramps I know that they, they they work well in the sense that they are like just an extra map feature that won't get the map broken or anything. But they don't like uh, synergize all too well with the general idea because I feel like the map like lacks a general idea besides like just like having extra slowing areas. That said, it is obviously a finalist and be and not and it is worth it. Because it is like a, what a macro map with slowing zones might look like going like even further into the future. So that is obviously a benefit. And because it is a macro map, the slowing zones will be like will see like a huge amount of play. Uh, when it comes to the map itself, it is like very well executed. So there is like not much that I can actually nitpick. The distances between the bases it's like just perfect. This this area with the rocks that as you follow the, the pre-judging feedback uh, it is like very well achieved same with for example this area with the with the 12 and 6 o'clock bases the alternative ports and besides that it is like just an overall around solid map <laughs> and obviously we have the the eight, the classic like by now RQM do that usage there is like some very very cool usage of doodads around the map that is obviously like you just can sometimes you can just tell because of the amount of work that and creativity that goes into it but uh, besides that there is like not much that I can mention sadly the, it has like one thing that might lack it is like overlord pods around this area but I don't think that that is even like that much of a strictly ne strict necessity, given the, the the high grounds themselves, the the ones that I was rallying against a little bit. But yeah, there is like as I was mentioned, not much even else to mention. It's like just around solid, a good usage of a map feature that we haven't played around with too much. Uh, so yeah, this uh, this will be like a rather short review, given the given the, the good setup of the map. Anyhow guys, take care. This was a review of Mong Shui, of Mong Yong Shai. Hopefully I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> oh, I, I will imagine no, but even then. Take care guys. Uh, made by RQM for the Challenge 2 category of the Team Lookup Map Contest 12. And see you guys in the next map reviews.